He's the most senior Ukrainian official killed since the Russian invasion began. Interior Minister Denis Monastirsky was considered a deeply respected politician. He, he was a great man, uh, very open, very uh, determined, you know, and very focused on, on his uh, duty. He was, he was a hero. Born in the western city of Khmelnytsky during the Soviet era, he studied and practiced law, graduating from the University of Management and Law before completing his doctorate. He would then set his sights on politics, joining Vladimir Zelensky's presidential team as an expert on law enforcement reform. In 2019, Monastirsky was elected to parliament and in July 2021 he was appointed interior minister, replacing Arsen Avakov, a man never far from scandal. Among an emerging, younger generation of politicians, Monastirsky though sought to change the image of the post. Young guy, very patriotic guy, do it a lot of things for Ukraine and uh, make a police reform uh, in, uh, in Ukraine. Never far from the front lines, he was tasked with heading up police and emergency response services, dealing with the consequences of Russian strikes. At this position, the Ukrainian army is on the alert. I've talked to the soldiers, I can tell you that the enemy has no chance. In September, Monastirsky aided Kyiv in the largest exchange of prisoners of war with Russia, recovering 215 servicemen. He was also instrumental in securing the release of senior troops who led the defense of the Azovstal steel plant. His close relationship with Ukraine soldiers was an enduring feature throughout his time at the helm. Thanks to the fact that you will be where you are tomorrow, we will have an independent Ukrainian state. One of Zelensky's closest allies, Monastirsky was described by the president as a patriot upon his death. He leaves behind his wife and two children.